Hi and welcome to Easy Fishing and it is a very hot clammy kind of afternoon I'm absolutely dripping sweat my hair no doubt looks like I've been dragged through a head backwards and uh, yes since lockdown this has been a bit of a nightmare the reason I haven't put any videos up was that, uh, quite simply, I was out reconnoitring for some new filming venues on the Friday and I fell over and uh, damaged my back. Um, I did try to go, but it was, uh, yeah, it was just too painful. So, apologies for the delay, let's get on with the video. Today, I'm at a local club lake there's uh, quite a strong westerly breeze the water is got visibility down to about four feet uh, yes I'm going to be fishing two methods today I'm going to start off fishing a short pole dead simple rig I'm fishing it on top of the marginal shelf it has a uh, 0.5 gram uh, adrenaline carp 5 sorry I lied a 0.4 gram adrenaline carp 5 uh, 015 mainline 015 hook length and uh, I've put in a size 16 hook because I know I could be catching some quality fish here um, Bait is maggots and a few casters, and I have uh, some smallish quantity of dark ground bait. And uh, as the light fades, I'm going to switch to my little mini carp feeder uh, with a uh, helicopter rig with a two inch length of fluorocarbon to a popped up maggot. Hopefully that will take something bigger, but that's for later on. So, let's get on with it. So, I've uh, plumbed up the depth. I'm fishing at six metres with a carp margin pole. Don't uh, be confused with uh, thinking because it's a power carp pole that you can't use it for silver fishing. So it actually makes a lovely silver fishing pole. So. Make sure I've lined that up in against the marker where I drop my ground bait. and we go. Starting off with two red maggots on a 16. And look at that. First put in. Now, uh, one of the problems on this lake is that there are a lot of pike. And... Uh, They have a habit of um, lurking in the margins and then when you hook a roach, they charge in and hit it. Um, I would expect to lose some, but hopefully not too many. Just depends on the day some days. So uh, let's get back out there. I'm not putting any loose feed in at the moment because I do not want the fish to come up in the water. I want to catch them on the bottom if I possibly can. And I'm just at the top of the marginal shelf. Another two feet and it starts to uh, drop away quite steeply. So I'm hoping that I might pick up uh, some better quality fish. Uh, I'm fishing a 10 solid, so I can get these roach out a bit quicker before uh, the pike comes along, but that's probably a vain hope. So I don't, I don't really want to lose feed because I know what will happen. Um, I 
I did intend to fish a whip, but when I got here the wind was gusting really strongly and as per usual it's now stopped and would be perfect for a whip. Never mind. So you could say I've set up three outfits, a whip, a short pole and a feeder rod. Um, but the whip got put away and the rig taken off because I decided it was too windy. Shame. If I'd come here now, the whip would have been perfect, but I'm not going to get it out again. As it is, I've only got a couple of hours fishing time. And to be honest, I don't really rate my chances that highly, even though I've had a roach first put in. Um, the sun is extremely bright. It's probably messing up the camera, but I can't do anything about that. That's the only angle I could get. And uh, one other thing on this lake is you tend to get the fishing bursts, I've noticed. You get a few fish, then the pike move in, and the roach move out, and then when the pike go, they'll come back in again. But sometimes the pike will sit here right bold as brass in front of you. I came down here with my buddy yesterday and uh, watched him uh, play a pike I netted it and photographed it for, oh, I don't know, seven pounds, I suppose, but in beautiful condition. But he just got pestered by pike after pike, so, yeah. So, do I feed? It's a six million dollar question. Well, we'll give it a little try, and if I just get too much attention, we'll... If I'd had more time, I would probably set up a, a, a very strong pole rig to fish those marginal reeds. Because I've re Norfolk reeds to the left and right. At least I think they're Norfolk reeds. They look like it. And... Uh, although it's extremely snaggy. And here we go again. What do we got this time? I guess it's another roach. Oh yes, lovely quality fish. I'm quite happy with that. Now I'm not fishing for big fish, I'm just fishing to catch a few fish because um, for the no doubt everybody this has been uh, a quite a stressful time and I just want to get a bait in the water and uh, catch a few fish. So bright I can't see my marker on the far bank to drop my floating line with. There we go. And of course I left my hat at home. This makes it doubly worse. And I'm cooking. And another one. So although the big fish boys sneer at this kind of thing, as far as I'm concerned, this is real fishing, you know, just for Joe Average. Not about breaking any records or anything like that. It's just about having some pleasure
whilst catching a few fish. And I think that's all most people really want to do is catch a few fish. Unless you're a dedicated matchman or a dedicated, oh, missed that one, or a dedicated uh, big fish angler. But I'm quite happy to mix up big fish and small fish. When I mean, this lake has got uh, carp, I'm not sure what size of carp go, at least 30 plus I would think. Cats, well, big. I'm not sure how big the cats go, at least 50 pounds I think. But uh, I might have a crack for them later on when I've got a night permit, because a night permit is uh, an extra 100 pounds and uh, I don't have that at the moment. And I can sit quite comfortably here. Oh! <laughs> well, I could until I got a bite. Now my elastic's a bit of a compromise, Tens a bit strong for roach, but it's quite deep water and uh, the roach can go up to two pound plus, well over two pounds in fact, and there are always a possibility of uh, a rogue tench or carp, well I won't get the carp out on this, a moderate tench, yeah I'll probably get it out, not that I really care. For me, I'm just sitting beside the water, relaxing, looking like the wild man of Borneo. Get that lined up. Yes, very pleasant. I have no idea what time it is. It's quarter to seven, so I've got about an hour and a quarter. So we shall have to see what uh, progress I can make in an hour and a quarter. Maybe a bit more. Right, well, let's put a few more maggots out. I generally speaking don't like to do that because I know that in this deeper water the roach will come up off the bottom and it'll be a nightmare of mixed bites, of mixed missed bites so uh, not my favourite scenario all I know is I am absolutely dripping just call me beefy well I'm catching a uh, steady stream of roach nothing very spectacular but very enjoyable and a uh, yeah, nice stamp of fish really. Not going to break any records but then who cares. Uh, pretty much 
a boy to chuck at the moment. I've also added a small pot to the top of my pole and uh, I've had a tiny little ball of ground bait in and I'm feeding uh, just a few maggots now and again And it's uh, <laughs> it's quite literally uh, a bite of chuck. However, um, stray uh, strains of weed and stuff are making my life miserable. And uh, they're so tough. Yeah, that's another hook length gone. Oh well, good job we got some pre tight. So uh, less than a minute, and I'm uh, back in action with a another hook length tied. Quite a nice stamp of fish I'm catching. I'm quite happy. Would be nice if I can get some bigger fish, but uh I'm not really worried. So, the inevitable happened. <coughs> I've uh, been pestered by pike. I've been bitten uh, off twice. So, the pole's run away and for the last hour, the feed has come out. Just fishing a short helicopter rig. See how we get on with this. I expect to get lights on it. So I could be. But I wasn't prepared to keep losing uh, roach to pike. Every time I come down here, I say I must bring a pike rod with me, and I don't. But one of these days I will remember. And, uh, 
Mr. Pike. And, uh, cool. Well, I'm sat here missing bite after bite and being serenaded by either a reed or a sedge warbler, I'm not sure which, but it's very pleasant to listen to all the same. Yeah, I'm getting some savage bites and missing, they're really ripping the quiver tip round, but for some reason I'm not contacting them. But like I say, I'm not really worried. Just a bit of fun. When the surface of the lake is alive with um, small fish, which is a good sign for the health of the lake. And uh, no doubt the catfish and the pike keep their numbers down to a certain degree. And I just dropped a pinch of bait in front of me in the, in the uh, shallows and it's now alive with small fish. Absolutely hundreds of them. But I'm still getting bites and missing them, so... Yeah. So I thought I'd have another go on the pole and first put... No, no pike yet. Hey, these are the quality of fish I'm getting, so I can't really complain. And uh, five minutes or so and who knows I could hook into something better at this time of day but I have to confess I'm not geared up for big fish today I'm just general float fishing if you like And the amount of bird life around this lake is always a pleasure to me. I had a song thrush serenading me. Oh, so I've had a reed or a sedge warbler, I'm not sure what it, which one. But look at that, I've, I've got a bite first put in on the pole and then nothing. It's just nice to be out here again. And I must admit, despite all my preparation during the uh, shutdown, I still seem to uh, be not that organised sometimes, which is really frustrating because, um, yeah, I've got plenty of pre-tied hooks and pole winders and that made up, but... For instance, I went to find my buoyant foam for this to pop up the maggots and uh, yeah, that was a problem. And I knew I put a new stick in there, but I couldn't find it. But anyway, um, although there's not a lot of fish to report, I'll say I've probably had about 20 odd roach on the pole 
and then the pike trouble started and now on the feeder I'm being pestered by uh, just tiny fish. So I guess um, that's it for the first session back. And my back is starting to hurt again so I'm going to give it about another 10 minutes and then I'll be off. So I hope you've enjoyed this and if you did don't forget to like and give us a thumbs up and uh, hopefully I'll get my act together a bit more and uh, get out there and do some serious fishing. So until then, tight lights.